Bugley will go from the inside in red. Da Patrick Dudek alongside him in blue. Jason Doyle in white in gate number three. And Freddie Lingwood from the outside in the yellow helmet colour. Tense times have had to be patient. We all have. It's been a long night. It's been a tense night. It's been attritional. But now, semi-final one. Fingers crossed the track behaves itself and we can see some fine racing. Uh, if you're wondering who that is, that's Dan Bewley. <laughs> um, because um, every time his name is mentioned, the place goes mad. So quite clearly, a tremendous amount of support for the young British rider. But he's up against some experienced campaigners here. A world champion, a former world champion, a former world number two, Freddie Lindgren always there or thereabouts a world number three in the, in the past some real real hard nosed speedway riders coming up to tapes and a man trying to make the final for the first time and uh, if he can replicate something similar to what we saw earlier on tonight then he has every chance of going through to the grand final so guys just um doing a bit of gardening there it's certainly beautiful yeah, dan's having to work very very hard down there on the inside gate i, I wonder if he's uh, maybe wishing he'd pick gate two uh, he looks like he's settled down now. So here we go then, semi-final one. We've had to wait, but uh, we're now going to get on with the action. Green light comes on now. Oh, Doyle's in the tapes. Oh, can you believe it? What's happened to Dudek? He's just fallen over. Well, the drama continues. It's just, uh, it's one of those evenings where you just cannot, anything could happen here tonight. In the inside, Dan Bewley in the red helmet colour. Gate number two in blue. Needs Patrick to keep Duda, an eye on the clock. Jason Doyle. Uh, can't, no rider there. And on the outside is Freddie Lingwin. Five seconds to go. Got to get there now. Don't move around now. Behave yourselves. Here we go then. Second time of asking. Semi final number one. Green light comes on now. Here we go. Takes her up and we're away. Dudek's made a great start. Superb start out of gate number two. Lingwin coming hard around the outside. Beauty though, holding still, holding firm. Holds that inside, he's in the second place. But wow, what a start from Patrick Dudek. You can never ride him off. Superb effort from him. Track has behaved so far, that's good news. They're coming out of Cam Dunty. Dudek's powering away. Pierre Beauty looking set to make his first final of his career. Oh, this is going to be a big moment for him. But Patrick Dudek, what a start yeah patrick dudek fast away looks like jack older may have made the right choice going for gate two even though smarter could be on the inside but dan Bewley solid in that first turn absolutely right they're into the last lap and it looks like it's going to be patrick dudek and dan Bewley. Bewley making half a mistake but he's got breathing space with freddie lingwin back in third place what a ride from dudek he's in the final and Bewley's winning there First final of his career in the Grand Prix. Fantastic moment for him. Freddie Lindgren and Jason Doyle missing out this evening. What a ride that was. What a start he had. And the race times are back. 53 seconds. That's more like it. Yeah, Great to, to see. And we're going to get a superb conclusion to this night. I've got to say, the track work did the job. The track uh, definitely held up in that race. It's got two more races to go. Well, there we see the result. Patrick Dudek through to the final. Dan Bewley with him, Freddie Lindgren and Jason Doyle missing out this time. And the race time of 53.9 seconds. When you look at it back, it was 56 earlier on tonight. So that is conclusive evidence that the track did behave there. So we will um, hope that semi-final number two produces that. But uh, Patrick Dudek, that was an a lightning great, start. So great, great composure there, didn't he? Really did nail it. Yeah, he did, and a solid first turn from Dan Bewley. Biggest first turn of his career so far. But Dudek it is, just gets his handlebars across, stays down low, but this is where Dan Bewley has to be strong. We know Freddie Lindgren's not going to move out of his way, and uh, he is solid in that first turn, but what a start and a ride from Patrick Dudek. Yeah, this was the moment when I feared for Bewley. He really did have to hang tough there because there's no doubt when you've got a rider like Lindgren alongside, he's going to try and intimidate you. Look how tight they were. He was trying to hustle through, but actually, to be honest, Dudek was kind of... You just saw him come out of the throttle there momentarily, and that probably did Bewley a favour. But nonetheless, Dudek and Bewley through.